Hey YouTube, this is uh, Sheffler Bros with a video on explaining to a lot of people that don't know what is angle of engagement in an airsoft gearbox. Well, I'm here to tell you. Angle of engagement starts, you've got your sector gear here, and you've got your piston. This gun is a G&G GR15 Raider, um, and hats off to G&G because their piston, if I can remove the piston, their piston actually has the first tooth removed from the factory so that the angle engagement can be corrected. Now, the angle of engagement, I have a plastic washer, well, rubber washer, I should say, in the back of the cylinder head. I was just testing the angle of engagement. Now, what the angle of engagement is, if, like, say I have stock angle of engagement, which will reset to stock. There's the plastic washer cylinder head back in. Slide your piston in. This is stock from the factory angle of engagement. Now you see where the tooth of the first tooth of the sector gear is engaging the back tooth of the piston. This is at about the one o'clock I'd say position. You don't want that because on a lot of high speed rigs your piston is coming back and as it's coming forward the sector gear is turning and it can catch your piston as it's coming forward. You've got the piston coming forward and the sector gear coming back, which therefore in a very short amount of time will completely rip the back of your piston off pretty much. And with the angle of engagement, that fixes that. It sets your piston so that it's back here, say, well, a little far for, farther forward with that pad in there. And it catches, it, it short strokes your piston. So one, it doesn't go as forward. Your angle of engagement is more straight up, which in turn is getting more like of a smooth action, smoother energy to your piston. Instead of it coming forward and immediately going back again, it has a little bit more time to let the sector gear turn and catch the piston on when it is completely forward and stopped and on the right way. Now. If you're wondering how can you set this I've seen people do you know metal washers in between the piston and the piston head in this case that's not what I'm doing this right here is a little put a little rubber washer I picked up at Lowe's like earlier this evening um, it was you know 22 cents for a bag of you know two of those I've got a bunch over there for future mods but it's about an eighth, eighth of an inch thick well, no, it's like a sixteenth of an inch thick, and you can double them up if you need to, depending on the gun. But I just put what you want to do is you want to hot glue. You don't want to super glue. You want to actually hot glue the uh, pad right to the back of your cylinder head there, and see that's perfect size as a cylinder head. I couldn't, I can't tell you what size that is. I'm sorry, but. Go to Lowe's and look up the plastic washers. And it's, it, at my at my Lowe's, it was in a drawer, and I had to dig through this big like drawer of all these assorted washers and get yourself, you know, a few of these. And uh, it's the perfect size as a cylinder head, and you actually hot glue it. I would not suggest super glue because super glue one is permanent. So if you did happen to mess up the pad installation a little bit, you're screwed. Hot glue, it's hold strong, but if you want to pull it off. It's just hot wax, and you can just rip it right off and start over again. So I would suggest doing hot glue. So you want to hot glue that to the back of your cylinder. I'm not going to glue it in this case. I'm just this is just for demonstration purposes. And also, this is with a G&G blowback, as you can see with from the stupid cylinder. I honestly don't know how this this is going to affect the blowback. Because if you can see, the piston head is right at the uh, blowback hole. So I honestly don't know if it's really going to affect the air seal or not. I guess I'll find out. And if it does, I'm going to have to do the washer mod instead of the Sorbo pad mod. Which, Sorbo pad and Airsoft is actually, there's a guy online that actually sells, you know, I, I, I don't know if he has a patent on it. But they're actually Sorbo pads and they're those little uh, rubber washers. And you can actually buy those designated for any not just version 2 like this airsoft gearbox i just didn't feel like going through all the hassle with ordering offline so i just went to uh 
Lowe's and picked them up, which the Sorbo pads could be different. They could be better. I'm not sure. But, you know, if you want to go with that alternative, feel free. But I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's your angle of engagement. And as you can see, it resets your piston a lot further back. So your angle of engagement is about the, you know, 1230 position instead of the whole one o'clock and that allows the time for your sector gear to spin and allows you know allows for much more reliability because if you have those two slamming against each other at all opposite forces then that is going to decrease reliability a lot and this will increase the longevity of your piston and make your gun run a lot longer without having to you know put in a new piston and you know just it, it will increase your performance and reliability well not mu so much performance but definitely reliability but uh this is shift for bros on angle of engagement oh, i can't breathe <laughs> on uh angle of engagement and uh i hope this video helped there's some others out there very similar to this that are just as good i honestly learned from those i'm just kind of getting the word out because it's really not a whole not a lot of people know about angle of engagement and it really needs to be brought up so airsoft guns can be built a lot better so they can last longer but uh this is shiver bros on angle of engagement and uh